Send it for Your graduating class at Mills College wants to leave behind in memory of their time, and of what they have learned, and of their experiences together. Thank you. I just want to thank everybody who's here today, supporting all the graduates. We couldn't have done this without you. I come from an oral tradition, so today I'd like to tell you a story. As a child, I lived in a small town on the Iran-Iraq border, sharing a room with my mother and sister in a small house that also held my grandparents, uncle, and some cousins. My grandfather was a Kurdish Khan, but he'd lost all of his land years ago and worked as a tailor with a small shop. When he spoke Farsi, his accent was so strong, I barely understood a word he said. But every evening, he would lay down with my cousins and I, and he would tell us ancient stories, tales of folklore and legend, and we would devour his words. The rhythm and meter of his speech instilled in me a feeling of calm in a world of chaos. His nightly ritual became a saving grace, an anchor of sanity in what felt like a rising tide of madness. Nothing could hurt us when my grandfather's cold. Nothing bad could possibly happen in those moments. We found a safe place, a happy place, in the midst of sorrow and danger. Imagine a young girl living in a war-torn world, surrounded by death and fear, under constant threat of foreign bombs and domestic tyranny. A young girl who witnessed her mother arrested by guards because her stockings were immodest. Who watched her sister, her role model, pretend to be a boy to escape punishment for not wearing a veil. Who saw family members go off to war to fight an unknown enemy, never to return. A young girl who flew alone across the world before she was old enough to attend school to arrive in an unknown place and start an unknown life. A young girl who moved through poverty-stricken suburbs, moving from school to school, facing racism and ignorance in her new land. What could become of such a girl? What could she expect in her life? Today, as I stand here with some of the most intelligent and caring people I've ever known, I carry that young girl with me. I know that she could never have predicted this moment. I could never have predicted this moment. This is a culmination of all my experiences, everything I have been through, everything I have seen, but it is much more than that. It is all the people who have sacrificed, struggled, and supported in order to get me here. I could never have predicted this moment, but they did. I come from a land of tyranny, a land where people fear their government, their neighbors, and even their own families. I come from a people without a recognized country, without a recognized language. I come from an unrecognized people. I should not be here. And yet, because of a series of choices outside of my control, I had the opportunity to pursue my dreams and fulfill my potential.